Okay. Um, well, this is the museum in okay. the store. Um, being our main Austin store, we have a museum set up where the items in here are not for sale. Uh, a lot of them are even defective items that we just took in, couldn't get to work or whatever. Uh, but instead of throwing it away, mm -hmm. we cleaned it up, set it up, and merchandised it in a way where people can see kind of a timeline of video games. Um, you know, Atari and television, some of the, the little mini tabletop arcades, things like that. You've got Pong machines here, Atari. Yeah. Those are like like one game, you know, setups. And depending on how many lines, you know, that were the players <laughs> you controlled was what sport it was. Most of these machines were around two or three hundred bucks when they came out. And that hasn't really changed a whole lot in 30 years. That's just typically about the price of a new system. You know, some of the, the various accessories that have come out, the robot, the glove. I mean, this is going into the 80s, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis. This is the, the Famicom, the Japanese Nintendo. Uh, and then you go into, like, Super Nintendo, the, the disc systems, the PlayStation, 3DO, Saturn, um, you know, PS1, PS2. Just kind of an assortment there of some of the different portable systems. Do you have a personal favorite or even a nostalgic favorite out of all these? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I think, you know, probably the Atari 2600 yeah, is yeah. one of my favorites. Just, I mean, that was the first one I had as a kid. Uh, my brother and I played that thing like crazy in the, the early 80s. And then I just grew up with them. And I traded that in, got a Nintendo, got a Genesis, and just kind of worked my way up. Um, like a lot of other people of my, my generation. Um, you know, I guess the difference being that we, we just don't stop. So we keep the old ones now uh, and then still get the new ones.